In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we are going to check out the top 5 best cameras for photography in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these cameras for photography, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so, let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the Olympus EM10 Mark III. The Olympus EM10 Mark III, would be a really good option for every photographer who is looking for a premium camera that comes at an affordable price. From a design perspective, this model comes in two different color editions such as black and silver, which we are currently reviewing, however, both of them share the same specs, so regardless of your choice, they perform equally good. Our pick features a compact, lightweight body that is finished in a retro chic, two-tone silver and black finish, that looks wonderful regardless of the perspective you see it. At the front, there is a deep hand grip, while at the center, you will immediately notice its 14-42mm EZ that will ensure quality photo capture. At the top, there are numerous buttons including a shortcut button, programmable FN2, record button for movies, as well as a combined power switch, and a flash release. At the back, there is an FN1 button, additional 4 buttons such as delete, info, menu and play that flank a 4-way controller. Also at the back, there is a 3-inch tilting touchscreen that sits below the electronic viewfinder that gives a real-time preview of the object you intend to shot. The connectivities include one micro USB port, one micro HDMI connector which is good for the price. But now, let's talk about the performance. This model packs a 5-axis image stabilization, a 16-megapixel live MOS sensor, and a Trupic 8 image processor, that will help you capture well-defined photos without any blur, no matter of how fast they are moving. If you want to record videos, then I'd like to inform you that this camera can capture Ultra HD 4K videos with 24, 25 and 30 FPS which is amazing. Moreover, the EM10 Mark III has 15 built-in art filters as well, so you will be equipped with versatile options, that will surely increase your user experience to a whole new level. After your photo shooting sessions, you can take an advantage of the Olympus Image Shar app, and transfer them safely without worrying about anything. To conclude, I'd recommend you consider this camera as your next purchase, because the Olympus is capable enough to deliver accurate and vibrant photos. Moving on, at number 4, we have the Panasonic Lumix GH5. The Panasonic Lumix GH5 is one of the best, and most sold mirrorless cameras in the market, because it performs equally good with recording videos and capturing photos. From a design perspective, the GH5 has a slim matte black body, that is covered with a textured rubber finish, so I have to admit that it looks elegant without any doubt. There are many physical controls that are present around the top and the back. Or to be more precise, there is a dedicated drive dial positioned at the far left on the top, while on the right, there is a mode dial that offers plenty of adjustable options. On the right, there are seven more buttons, including the one for adjusting the ISO, exposure control dial, the FN1 button, video record button, and all of them are easy to access. At the top back, there is a high-resolution, 3680K. Large OLED live viewfinder that will offer you a clear sight of everything you intend to capture. Below the viewfinder, there is a 3-inch LCD screen, which is exceptionally sharp, and what's interesting is that it has a VARI angle design, so you can swing it out to the side, which is pretty helpful for video recordings. The connectivities consist of a 3.5mm audio port, two SD card slots, full-size HDMI, and a USB-C, so you will be more than covered. Now, let's talk about the features. This camera sports a 20.3 megapixel micro four-thirds image sensor with no low-pass filter, which means that it is highly responsive, so you can capture breath-taking images without any problem. Another great thing about this camera is the 5-axis dual is 2.0 which reduces the blur and the lens shakes to the minimum, so all of your photos and videos will be razor sharp. Except taking photos, you can record videos in 6K resolution at up to 30fps, and 4K videos with 60fps which I particularly like. 
Before we end, I'd like to inform you that this camera is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, so you can have a quick data transfer. Overall, the Lumix GH5 is a must for every photo professional who is looking for a camera that offers a great value for its price tag. Next stop, at number 3, we have the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. The Canon EOS 6D Mark II is an entry-level, DSLR camera that combines a dust and water-resistant body, with a powerful sensor, which makes it ideal for every photographer who wants to shoot in normal and extreme conditions. From a design perspective, this model features a black, aluminum alloy, and polycarbonate resin construction, that as I've stated at the beginning, is capable to withstand different weather conditions, with the intention to equip you with limitless shooting possibilities. On the left corner of the body, there is a mode dial, an AF on button, while at the top, there is an AF button, drive mode, ISO, and metering mode button, and ahead of them, there is an MFN button and shutter release button. At the back, next to the Vari Angle LCD touchscreen, there is a delete button, lock button, zoom button, and two more buttons, which surround the circular button with a set label embedded at the center. For your information, the touchscreen has 1.4 million dots, which means that regardless if you want to record videos under direct sunlight, you won't be bothered by any reflections. Slightly above the touchscreen, there is the optical viewfinder with 45-point AL Cross Type AF system, which offers a distraction-free view to your desired objects. In addition, the physical connections consist of a mini HDMI, a mini USB, remote control port, and a mic input which is great. But now, let's talk about the performance. The EOS 6D Mark II is powered by a DIGIC 7 image processor and a 26.2 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor that will produce a spectacular photo quality, regardless if you want to capture a moving or fixed objects. This model also uses dual pixel CMOS autofocus with phase detection, so you can record full HD 60p videos as well, in different lighting situations without any problem, since the camera will maintain its optimal autofocus to the highest level. Moving on, I'd like to inform you that this camera has a built-in GPS, Bluetooth, NFC, and Wi-Fi support for communication with smart devices, so I have to admit that this camera is full of features. To conclude, the 6D Mark II is worthy of considering, so give it a chance and feel the benefits that that are given by this camera. Moving on, at number 2, we have the Nikon D500. The Nikon D500 is a real all-rounder due to various reasons, starting from its high ISO rate, its EXPEED5 image processor, and the 20.9 megapixel DX format CMOS sensor, that will let you capture mouth-watering photos and videos, like you've never seen before. From a design perspective, the Nikon D500 is finished in black, and the only place where it differs, is the presence of a red accent on its right corner. There are numerous control buttons that are located above the red accent, as well as on the left and the right side of the 3.2-inch, 2539K dot tilting LCD touchscreen. All of them are strategically positioned, and easy to access, so you can capture photos and do various adjustments without any fuss. Above the touchscreen, there is the optical viewfinder that is surrounded by a rubber with the intention to minimize the glare to the minimum. In addition, the viewfinder offers 100% field of view as well, so you will be glad having it. The connectivities include a dedicated remote port, a micro USB 3.0 port, one mini HDMI connector, a micro USB 3.0 port, dual memory card slots and headphone and microphone jacks. I'd also want to inform you that the D500 is Bluetooth NFC, and Wi-Fi enabled, so you can connect quickly to any compatible smart device. Now, let's talk about the features. The Nikon D500 is fast-paced due to its processor and the sensor that we've mentioned previously, so you can capture images at 10 FPS. On the other side, if you seek to capture fast-moving objects, such as animal or birds, just take an advantage of its AFC mode, and you would never miss anything. 
For videos, you can record 4K UHD videos at 30 FPS, and as you can see, this camera is good for both video and photo recording. Moreover, the native ISO rate of 51200 will guarantee you quality photos and videos under different lighting conditions, so everything you capture will have its natural look. Overall, you should definitely consider the Nikon D500 as your next purchase, because it is exceptionally powerful, and it worths all the money. And finally, at number 1, we have the Sony Alpha A9. The Sony A9 isn't the most affordable camera that you can find on the market, but if we take into consideration that it is full-frame, mirrorless, and that it integrates a full-frame stacked CMOS sensor, then the price is fairly reasonable. From a design perspective, this camera features a robust, magnesium alloy body that is resistant to dust and moisture, with the intention to equip you with endless shooting possibilities, regardless of the weather conditions. The Sony A9 holds plenty of controls which are positioned across the entire body, and you can reach them easily, for doing adjustments as you're capturing photos. Since you will use most of them, the best in my opinion, are the new AF on button, as well as the AF multi-selector joystick which is positioned at the camera. In addition, the front and the rear dials are lockable, which means that they will prevent you from making unintentional changes during use. At the back, you can instantly see the 3.7 million dot OLED viewfinder that offers a resolution of 1280 by 960 in terms of pixels, and interestingly, it releases EVF images in 128 FPS, so you can see everything. Slightly below, there is the 3.0-inch tilt-angle touchscreen which is unbelievably sharp due to its 1440K dots. In terms of connectivities, there are two memory card slots, an Ethernet port for FTP file transfer, 3.5mm audio jacks, a micro HDMI, and micro USB which is more than enough. But now, let's talk about the performance. This offers a continuous shooting rate of 20 FPS which expands the possibilities, so regardless if you want to capture fast moving or fixed objects, they will be captured without any blur. Another great thing about this camera is its vibration-free and anti-distortion shutter, that can achieve speeds as quick as 132,000th, which is insanely good. In terms of video, you can shoot 4K videos at 24 or 30 FPS with 60 or 100 Mbps bit rates, full HD videos at 120 FPS, so I think that this camera is a true all-rounder. To conclude, the Sony A9 is a top option for every professional photographer who wants to invest in a quality camera. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions related to these cameras for photography, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.